Hi everybody, it's Matt here, and today I want to try something different. Uh, I'll be taking a look at a game in my Steam library with a low meta score, and we'll see if the game is really that bad. At the time of making this video, Damnation has a meta score of 41, so I ask, is Damnation really that bad? At first glance, the game looks pretty good, but if you look a little closer, you start to see that things are a little more boxy and textures look a little pasted on when you get close up. There are these ugly repeating textures on the really large surfaces like cliffs and stuff. All that and then the frame rate chugs out if there's really much going on at all. The animation is a little robotic and stiff at times. Particles do strange things and disappear completely sometimes. The first time I saw this part, my brain went that's not right. And at first I thought there were no dust particles at all during the slide. Then when I watched it back, there were dust particles all in the right places. And I was like, what? I really clearly remember there being no dust particles. Well, then I noticed, you know, the part that broke my brain. is There's like a frame or, two, or a few frames in the video where there are, that they just disappear. There are no dust particles. And uh, that's, that's what stuck in my head. And what I remembered was no dust particles. I don't know if the cutscenes are pre-rendered, but the frame rate drops to 30 from 60 during the cutscenes, so I suspect they are pre-rendered. But I only wonder because they look exactly like they would if they were real-time rendered in-game. And that is to say that they are jerky and quite unfinished looking. During gameplay, the camera awkwardly clips like into things and is pushed around by other things, making the corners and small places confusing to navigate. And very glitchy, camera clippy looking sometimes. You know what I mean. The sound is generally acceptable. Uh, things sound like they should. The engine noise is kind of annoying, but overall everything fits fairly well. The VO work is... Again, it's okay, but it's unpolished. The actors weren't winning any Oscars for their works with their accents. Oh my god. Uh, but in the realm of video games, it's better than Resident Evil. The story, again, is it's standard. I won't spoil it for you, but there is an oppressive regime that needs taking down, and your wife is missing. No Oscars here either. Player controls suffer from the same issue as the animation. It's stiff, but, I mean, it works. I kind of wonder if the movement is tied to the animation and kind of backwards way, and that's why it's so awkward. I mean, really, there's this one part where it's really annoying. You have to get underneath the zip line to jump up and grab it to slide down, but the controls are so horrible. It's like it's uh, it's like trying to balance on a unicycle, but like more than that like a unicycle on a beach ball while undergoing massive head trauma vehicle control is pretty much the same uh and with the added speed oh my goodness all bets are off on top of that the bikes drive on the friggin walls this adds an extra dimension to the stupidity i kept popping off this wall like popping off popping off and falling into a pit fun it's a little tough to show off clunky controls in a video, but I think you get the idea. I ran into some fun stuff that led me to think the enemy AI had some problems, but they're generally competent at shooting at you if you run in a straight line at them, so there's that. I should uh, add the game has multiplayer and co-op modes. Uh, I have not tried it, and I've got no footage of it. Uh, out of my 170 friends on Steam, only one of them has this game, and I could not convince them to play with me. And I didn't do any research before making this video, so I don't know if this is real, but this game gave me like a made using Unity sort of feel. It's not a bad thing, it's just a thing. 
overall the game is fun. There's climbing and parkour type stuff. There's shooting and collectibles. There's vehicles that do neat things. There's assassins and robots and robot assassins. There's extreme mode. <laughs> and hearing all of that, this game should be epic. I can't help thinking that if they put a little bit more work into the finishing, this game would have been really good. As it stands, it feels clunky and unfinished as a whole. I would have maybe given it slightly higher score than the meta score of 41 on Steam, but that seems in and about right. Make sure to stay tuned for Bonus Bike Out of Balance Challenge. And thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I don't do much editing anymore with the streaming on Twitch and stuff, but I hope it wasn't too bad. Bye! Are you taking in the sights? New America needs its workers.